Hey guys, welcome to another episode of French Border Gunner. We've got some exciting news today. We've managed to buy ourselves a new gadget. It's a GoPro. I'm sure you've heard of what these are. They're sports cameras that let you capture things like surfboarding, kayaking, rock climbing, whatever you like, but you can also use them with your dog. So we thought we'd get one so we can get some great footage and point of view footage as well of what it's like as a French Bulldog and what it's like to own a French Bulldog. Now we've done a lot of research into this before we bought it. We've only literally had it for 24 hours. We haven't used it much yet. But what we did find when we were looking online that people are telling you different ways in which you can attach and harness one of these to your dog. Now what we initially thought was that one of these, which is called a chest strap, it's called the official GoPro Chesty. We thought this would be fine because you see a lot of videos where people have managed to use these on their dogs. When they're in fact, they're actually designed to chest strap onto a human. Now the issue we found with Claude was it's quite a flat mount there as you can see. And once it's on his back, it's not particularly comfortable for him. And also we found that it was slipping and sliding when we were doing our test footage. And in fact, you can probably see some of that footage overlaying this video as I speak. So we did try that very briefly and we got really poor results. Perhaps it would work better with a larger dog, but for a French Bulldog the size of Claude's, we needed something different. So what we then found was that GoPro do the official dog mount. Now, as you can see, it's a lot more curved there and it's more like a traditional dog harness that you might use if you're taking your dog out on a lead or a leash. So this is the one that we've actually settled on. And we've already found that we've got some better test footage already. Now in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can attach this to your Frenchie or any small dog for that matter, and just give you a little bit of insight into what we've learned so far. Now it's dead easy to put on. It's literally the same as you would put on a dog harness. So Claude, come here, come here boy. So as you can see, you've got this front part here that literally hooks over his head, like so. You've then got this chest plate underneath and it has two straps which come up or under and up the legs. And then you can just hook in at the top here. It's really easy. Give it a little bit of a strap tighten. Same on the other side. As you can see, Claw's very comfortable with it. He's grown up wearing harnesses, so it's really nothing too unusual for him. It's then got this longer piece of strapping that goes under the belly and then hooks up onto a larger strap here, as you can see, and then you tighten it again. You can tighten everything up. There's also these little hook parts that any excess strapping you can push into. Really easy. It just takes a couple of seconds. Then you can kind of tidy it up if you want with these adapters here. Now I'm not going to tighten them all up now, it's just for demo purposes. What you can then do is really easily take the GoPro, put it into its mount and tighten it up like so. And then as with any other piece of GoPro equipment, it just easily slots in at the back and you're ready to go. Now you notice this piece of kind of cord here, this is really important. We didn't use this this morning when we did one of our tests and at some point Claude was wearing this, he rolled over on the ground and the whole mechanism and mount flopped out. We could have lost the GoPro, thankfully we didn't. So we then found out what this little piece of string was for. Essentially you hook it through this hook at the back, when you put the GoPro on you can hook it into the screw mechanism here and it just means if this does pop off while you're out with your dog, it will all still be attached. We've still got a little bit of a way to go with our test of that, but that's what that's, that there is for. What we also noticed was when we initially did our test, we just tried it on the top. We got reasonably good footage, but then we decided we'd also try the chest mount. If I can get Claude to turn around, you'll be able to see the chest mount area. I'm just going to lift him ever so slightly. Hopefully he won't mind. We've got a chest area here, and you can also mount the GoPro in there. Now what we noticed was when we ran the test footage back, all we really got was a lot of the ground and we didn't really get any good point of view footage. So for us at the moment, we're much preferring that top position. And you can see, or you already will have seen some of that footage over around the top of this video. So that's how we've got on. We've literally just been using it for 24 hours. We're gonna be doing lots of different little experiments and tests and having some fun with him while we go. But if you are thinking about doing this for yourself, definitely invest the little bit of extra money that this dog harness for GoPro comes with, especially if you've got a smaller dog. Don't worry with that chesty one that's made for humans. It really doesn't work very well. Works great on me, but with this little guy, it just ends up sliding and you get really poor footage. We've 
got new tips like this coming out every single week. So if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and click that red button and especially the bell icon because then you'll get an email every time we release a new video. What we're going to be doing over the next few days is really testing out this GoPro with our Frenchie to see what kind of results we're going to get. We're going to try and do a little day in the life series as well. So keep tuned and we'll see you next time.